Hi foodies, let's get into this delicious chicken. So the first thing I want you to do is preheat your oven to 350. Then let's take a look at these seasonings. I'm just gonna do a blend of fresh seasoning. It's onion, ginger, garlic, scallion, and thyme. So if you have green seasoning at home, you can use it. As far as the thyme, you can definitely use the whole sprig. Just remove those thicker, harder parts of it so you can do that or if you want to you can remove the leaves and just put the leaves in the seasoning so i'm just gonna blend everything with a little oil in my magic bullet use whatever food processing unit you have so depending on what the major ingredient is the color will be of that um hue so if you have a lot of parsley it's gonna be very green if you don't have a lot it'll be a pale green just try to include as many of those ingredients as possible. So I have a whole chicken here guys. I spatchcocked it so I took out the backbone so that it will lay flat. Alright, so what we're going to do is season all of this. We're going to be using black pepper. And I also have this really nice chicken seasoning. I love my Maggie seasoning but this is also really nice. Use your favorite chicken seasoning. And then I have some uh, crushed allspice berries. Of course, you want to use salt if the seasoning you're using is completely salt free. So there are the crushed allspice berries. I really love to add those when I'm baking the chicken. So mix all of these together. And then after that, we are going to just pierce the chicken all over. And then we're going to rub the seasoning into the chicken. So use a fork or use a paring knife and just prick the chicken all over. This is just going to help the seasoning to penetrate the chicken even more. I just do the underside because I don't want to prick the skin all over. Okay, so after that, you can drizzle on some olive oil, rub that in, and then we will add the seasonings. So go in with half of the seasoning because you want to leave some for the other side as well, right? So just use half of it. And then we'll add the green seasoning. Whenever I do baked chicken Jamaican style, I like to have a little color. So I'm going to add some browning. Just add a few drops. And then you're going to rub it in. Once you're done rubbing it in, you will see the darkness. And see if you want to add just a little more browning. Please be careful. Remember, browning can be bitter. So add a few drops. Rub it in and take a look. Okay, I didn't measure. I just dropped a few drops, okay? So that's what it looks like. That could take a little more browning, but this is the underside, so it's not 100% necessary. So I flipped it over, I did the same steps, okay? Oil, seasonings, rub it in, and then you wanna marinate this overnight, ideally. So on the day when you're ready to bake the chicken, we're just going to do a little gravy. So this is garlic, ginger, scotch bonnet, onion, scallion, allspice berries, and thyme. We are going to saute everything except for the, uh, the scotch bonnet, the thyme, and the allspice. So just saute this for a little bit. And then once it softens a bit, then we will add some other ingredients. So as I've told you guys before in other videos, when I'm making big chicken Jamaican style, I add ingredients as I go along. I'll always have ketchup and then I add other things. So today it's ketchup and then some soy sauce. All right, then we'll add some sweet pimento ketchup. This is from Jamaica Valley. I just discovered this this year and I love it so much. If you have pica pepper sauce, you can add a little pica pepper, but I'm not using it today. I'm just using the sweet pimento ketchup. So stir that around. And this is over medium heat. We're going to add some seasoning. It could be all-purpose seasoning or it could be the same chicken seasoning that you used for the chicken. Then I'm going to add the allspice berries whole. It just really adds a nice flavor. Then some black pepper. And then go in with some water okay this is a very simple all right 
then I go in with the fresh thyme and the scotch bonnet and then you're gonna allow this to simmer I did add some more sweet pimento ketchup and then I added a little browning because I wanted the color to just be slightly darker whenever we're doing baked chicken guys most Caribbean cooks we just add as we go along see I just added a little honey and then if you want a lot more gravy just double up on your quantities guys because I didn't make a lot so I just allow this to simmer for a little bit then I will take it off the stove because we're gonna use this to brush on the chicken while it bakes so after the first 20 minutes of baking take it out brush on the sauce if you want to flip the chicken and brush the underside you can do that so flip it brush the underside then focus on this side the display side all right so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be baking this for another 45 minutes but every 15 minutes i want you to take it out and give it some love with that nice gravy and then put it back in the oven so another 45 minutes but every 15 minutes give it some love with that nice gravy and it's beautiful look at that color really nice those juices that are in the tray you can pour them into the pot that you have on the stove mix it around and continue to baste the chicken just use a spoon or a baster to transfer them to the pot and then after those 45 minutes this is your beautiful baked chicken it's really nice look how juicy it is it's so flavorful it's tender and juicy and then the skin really nicely caramelized look at that super juicy guys so so good i just made this for sunday dinner yesterday guys and i had it with some um, boiled corn and some rice and peas that i did in my instant pot that video is coming up this week and i did it with some sauteed veg really delicious guys nice nice dinner let me know what you think once you try it because i know you're gonna try it like look at this it's delicious it's gorgeous I'll see you guys next time.